Hi, my name is Frank A. Thomas, and I had the opportunity to speak with the Reverend Dr. Charles E. Goodman, Jr., who is the pastor at the historic Tabernacle Baptist Church in Augusta, Georgia. He was our guest for the African American Legacy Preaching Series. I want you to check out this clip from our conversation. To watch the full conversation, click the link at the end of the video or in the description below. When was it a time that was the most difficult for you to preach? Last year I preached a series in May on grief. And that was the hardest series I probably ever preached in my life. Tell me. Because it made me look at my own ways that I have not dealt with my own grief. Mm -hmm. When my grandfather died in 08. My grandfather died in 08. I got the word I was in Phoenix. Mm. Flew back early. My grandmother was not gonna do anything with the body until I got there. So I had to be there to make sure it was cool. We ended up doing a funeral on Saturday. I don't have many regrets, Doc, I really don't in my life, but this is one. I did his funeral on Saturday and I came back and preached at my church on Sunday. Mm. And I thought Pastor Goodman was fine, but what I did not take into account is the heaviness of little Charlie, <laughs> who was the grandson, who was the baby boy that didn't get to grieve. Mm -hmm. And because Pastor Goodman is a grinder, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Life is good. <laughs> God is able. He'll sustain you. And it took almost those 14 years to realize I wasn't healed. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm, I'm doing a series on grief. And because we're focused on May as our family mental health month at our church. And that I could not, I'm telling you, I don't think I made it through any of those sermons without crying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even now, my soul, I'm, I feel the heaviness of it. So that was the hardest thing because I didn't want to be that vulnerable. Mm -hmm. As preachers, I know we say it. I know we go out there, we transparent, we try, but that is hard mm -hmm. because we gotta, we're God's ambassadors. We gotta, we do this. God, God's with us. We, we be with God. Most people think we just hang out with God all week. They just show up on Sunday. But man, it is hard. It was the hardest thing being that vulnerable and acknowledging in that season. And I had to make this declaration to my congregation. I apologize to them because I was a poor example to y'all. You saw me working and I thought that I needed to work to show you that you can push your way through everything. And I was wrong. I shouldn't have did that for you. And so now I want to apologize and share in this moment that it's okay to cry. It's okay to pause. It's okay to have a bad day. And that was the real practical moments in those preaching, like, it's okay. You know, weeping may endure for a night. We don't know how long the night is gonna be. Mm -hmm. That's right. Night is not just a 12 hour span. Night could be a month, two years, but what I am sure of is joy is going to meet you on the other side of that night. And we got to be, we're going to get there eventually. And so I think that to me was the moment. <laughs>